Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Van Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, 6 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Jimmy Poster Boy Manila! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, give me three rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocked them. He's rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Nice right hand. Big kick lands. Huge block there. Oh, nice straight there by Manuel. And both guys really throwing with authority. Good punch. Relax, 
straight right, he misses. Relax, relax. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. You don't know when that leg keeps coming. Anawa gets caught with that punch. Missed with that right hand. Straight punch on the counter is good by Lee. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. I mean, that right hand landed square. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night that landed. Right hand upstairs. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. That one snuck in. Nice strike. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Oh, strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Oh! Nice one, two there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful legs. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. And it was lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast. He always brings his hands right back to his face. Big leg kick lands. Spinning back fist. So a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Jimmy Mantle. Good punch, Lance. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg oh, Nice combination there by Lee. And he continues to work the body here. Nice sneaky head kick. Nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit tall. More baller than this. Effective punch there by Lee. Able to check that kick as well. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. 
Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Caught that kick there. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice big head kick land. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Able to check the high kick. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice right hand. Nice combination there by Lee. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Single collar tie there. Just misses with the left hook. What a tricky head kick. Nice punch there by Lee. Beautiful body. And they separate. He now connects with a right. Manawa gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. A really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. And he lands the knee to the body now. Saw oh, he missed with that right hand. Great punch landing, so much power. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Keep going with that. Oh! That landed clean. Oh, huge block. Slips to avoid that left. Ooh, what a punch. Powerful leg kick lands. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Manawa's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Big head kick. Oh, collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. Big kick land. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back and just truly makes it up the target. Sight to behold. Goes back to that left kick once again. Manawa gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He's going after the head. 20 seconds to go round two. Nicely done to the body. Lands with the left. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Two rounds in the books. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of his cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, he will start to see it taking effect. Lee's kick is blocked. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Just a slip there. 
Nice movement punch. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you the head. A lot of times it's the end of the night. You got a little experience with that. Yes, huh? I do. A little bit. Horrible. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shin guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Lands a nice straight punch there, now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Let him go. Let him go. Beautiful punch. Lee gets hit by that leg kick, may not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, yes. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Left hand punches the clinch. Got a single collar tie. You gotta check these low leg kicks. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Ooh, big shot land. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Manuel. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Nice kick. Manoa gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better. Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Well, at this point, he's gotta be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with the strike. Walked well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Manoa gets caught with that punch. His chin has held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lee's inner thigh in deep shade of purple at this point. Straight right hand, no good. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Spinning back fist is there. Put your hands up higher, come on. Nice straight punch. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner, 
everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round might be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world of the UFC. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. limp there. His leg hurting for certain. His hands are down. High kick, high kick. Whips on the straight right hand. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Yeah, he's fixing it all up. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Manuel. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice punch land. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Amazing that we could get to this point of the fight, and he would not show even a modicum of a sign of fatigue. Well, he's doing a very good job of managing his cardio. He doesn't throw everything in 100% power. He throws things to set up. He does a good job of knowing when to go and knowing when to slow down. It's showing. Look at his party. He's not even breathing heavy yet. Try to establish that jab. Great punch. Lance with the right hand. Leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination there. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Ninety seconds to go. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Punch coming, it's blocked. Manoa's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. Straight right hand now, just misses. He got the turtle in that kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice leg kick. Strong punch there by Lee. Switching stances here. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. He's in close, so instead of punching, he's landing these nasty, vicious elbows. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Manawa gets hit with a kick. Nice head kick. Just misses with the straight right. Yeah. 
Final seconds. Ooh, what a punch. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the cut on his nose, and you have to at least ask the question at this point in time. Maybe he's dealing with a broken nose. You certainly don't want to blow the nose. That will result in the eyes swelling shut, but a definite source of adversity here after this round. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good Final at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. <laughs> Big kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Way to hide that leg kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. to get those hands up. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Nice leg kick lands. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Punches and punches and punches. Let's go. Lee gets caught with that punch. Look at that leg. Manawa gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. That shot blocked by Jimmy Manoa. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Nice punch there by Manoa. Back and forth we go. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Real sneaky body kick. Big head kick land. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. There as he counters with a jab to the head. He's got the reach advantage, and it certainly paid there. Big punch lands through the middle. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, eats a knee to the head. While that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attack. Ninety seconds to go to decide this one. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, oh that's the scene. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to be on his feet right now. Mana was in her thigh, starting to bruise up pretty good now. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, yeah, right hand. Mana was strike attempt there is blocked. Stand tight, stand tight. Get the double leg. Double leg's there. Double leg. 
Nice body kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Punch over the top. Not there. Oh, straight punch lands flush on the counter. Nice deception with his footwork. And again, we're a broken record when it comes to the reach advantage. Certainly helped him out there. Big kick land. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Right. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Clearing the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! So there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of